Welcome to this webinar on the future of renewable heating in apartment buildings. I'm Caroline, I'm your host for your ISH Digital 2021. Margarita Carmine is a product manager at the Renewable Heating Department of Dyke in Europe and she will talk about this future new solution for residential collective application. Hello, I'm Margarita responsible for collective heating in Dyke in Europe. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the future of renewable heating in apartment buildings. First of all, let's start with a little bit of context. As we can observe, all across Europe, more and more people are living in urban areas. Here, half of the population is living in apartment buildings. The building sector itself is one of the main responsible for energy consumption and CO2 emissions. So, the energy we use to heat and cool this type of building plays a key role for the reduction of CO2 emissions. To reach the goal of full decarbonization of Europe towards 2050, the shifting of fundings to clean energy will play a key role together with the definition of a fair price difference between gas and electricity. We, as Daikin, can not only provide the technology to make this energy transition happen, but our aim is also to provide all the education to our customer to apply at the best our technology to these new challenges. Looking at the practical aspects, if we want to apply renewable energy to collective applications, we have to face several practical concerns. Let's look at them. First of all, we have a limited installation space. In fact, the owners of the flats are reluctant to use the space in their balcony. Moreover, on the roof of this building, there is a limited space for the installation of photovoltaic panels. The second factor that we have to respect is the sound restrictions. In fact, the technology we, have, we provide have to avoid disturbing the neighbors. The third, third restriction we have is that uh, moving from single family to multifamily applications, there is a decrease in the heating capacity demand, but an increase in the one of domestic hot water. Then we have also to cope with regulation about the production of domestic hot water. This means that we have to ensure the correct temperature at tapping point. Last but not least, this building characterized by medium and high rises have long pipe networks. This means that if the water inside these pipes is at high temperature, will face high heat losses. So, as Daikin, considering all this practical limitation, we found as a best answer a solution based on the cascade of two heat pumps. Let's see how it works. First of all, we have a main water loop that distributes low-grade heat around the building. This water loop is kept among 10 and 30 degrees from a central generator, an air source heat pump. As Daikin, we can offer a large portfolio of R32 heat pump from small capacities as uh, our new Alterma 3 HHT to higher capacities to match all the size of buildings. So this water loop that go, is heated up by the central generator goes around the building and arrives in the single apartment. Here we have our water source heat pump, Alterma 3 WS, and this unit makes the apartment completely independent for space heating, space cooling and domestic hot water production. This solution is very flexible because our Alterma 3 WS can be matched with any kind of emitter. 
Then we can observe what commonly happens with these medium and high-rise buildings, that on the ground floor there are commercial spaces. Our water loop concept can be matched with a water sourced VRV system in order to heat and cool also these areas. We spoke about an air source heat pump for the heating and cooling of the central water loop. But due to the wide range of temperatures we can use, we could also consider alternative mediums to do that. For example, shared borehole array surface water or district heating. So let's focus now on the unit that goes inside the apartment, so our Alterma 3WS. This unit can arrive to high living water temperature in heating pump mode only, up to 60 degrees. Then we can also face high domestic hot water demand thanks to the integrated tank for domestic hot water of 180 liter. This unit is reversible so we can provide both space heating and space cooling. Another key factor is the low noise that we can ensure down through 39 dBA. This unit has outstanding performances up to a COP of 13 with an entering water temperature of 25 degrees from the main water loop. This unit was also designed for the ease of installation. All the hydraulic connections are aligned on the top of the unit and also the compressor module can be taken off to simplify the maintenance operation. Now, we saw the context in which we are moving our solution and now let's see the benefits uh, we can offer. First of all, we have now a main water loop, so a distribution network that is a very low temperature, close to the one of the air surrounding the pipes. This means that we can drastically reduce the heat losses up to the 90% compared to a traditional high temperature distribution network. The second big advantage that we have is that we can avoid to occupy space on the balcony of the single flats and the installation space of the indoor unit is very limited, about 60 per 66 centimeters, so it can perfectly fit a utility cupboard. Another key factor for the installation of this unit being installed inside the apartment is to ensure a quiet environment and this unit was designed to achieve the result. Very important factor is that with our water loop concept we can use just two pipes to provide space heating, space cooling and domestic hot water versus the four pipes used by traditional systems. For thermal, thanks to the lower temperature, we can also reduce the thickness of insulation in the pipeworks. This means a capital reduction in the hydraulic costs of the plant. As we said, our unit is reversible and can reach high temperature so we can match it with any kind of emitter and we can complete our offer with uh, our underfloor heating system and our fine coils. Another great advantage we can offer with uh, the water loop concept is the heat recovery from the main ring of water. In fact, during summer operation, for example, when some of the units will be busy with space cooling, so releasing heat to the water loop, and some other units will be busy with the domestic hot water production, so absorbing heat from the water loop, the mm, total effect will be to have a heat recovery directly from the water going around the, the loop without an activation of the main air sourced heat pump, with a, a strong reduction in the primary energy consumption. So, 
we saw that uh, uh, we can offer a solution that can reduce uh, the primary energy consumption and uh, guarantee um, to avoid uh, CO2 emissions. The another important aspect uh, due to the installation inside the city is that uh, with uh, a heat pump we can avoid any emission of particulates and NOx. To conclude, we saw the practical concerns uh, we have to face, we saw how we overcome them with our water loop uh, concept, and uh, we, for the collective application, we developed a dedicated website. It's a free access, uh, I invite you to visit it. Here you can find a lot of precise information, it's always up to date uh, with uh, our projects, and uh, it's made to have an easy graphical interface to make our customers understand easily the benefit and the key points of our solution. In this website, you can also find an engineering tool that will help you with a real configuration of our water loop system. Let's have a look at it together. So from the main page, we can find the engineering guide and in few steps, we'll be able to find out the main technical specification of our water loop concept. First of all, we have to select the city in which our building is located. In this way, the outside design temperature will be fixed. Then we can choose what is the main central heating source for our water loop. For example, let's say our water air source heat pump. Then we can choose what is the building demand, heating only or heating and cooling. On the next step, we can choose if we want or not glycol in the pipings inside the building and what is the pipe sizing rule, so the maximum pressure loss for the pipe sizing. Going on, we have to define the geometrical features of our buildings. So the total number of floors that we have and for each floor, what is the number of apartments. On the final uh, steps, step, for each apartment, we can also define what is the emitter type for the heating mode and the capacity load in the design condition. The same can be do done for the cooling operation. So for each apartment, we can select the emitter type, different from the one used for heating, and the space cooling load. As a final result, we can obtain a full report in which we see a simplified graphical image of our water loop concept. So the air source heat pump, the water loop, and for each floor, the installation of our units in the apartments. On the right part, we see a recap of the main technical specification of our solution. Scrolling down, there is a focus on each main section of the water loop concept. For example, this is the external circuit. Here we have the main components uh, with a simplified uh, representation, for example, our air sourced heat pump. For each component there is a short descri description and uh, clicking on the letters we can see the main technical specification. For example, here we can see the design temperature and the total design capacity for our outdoor unit. The same can be done with the main components, so for example, clicking on B, that is our buffer tank, we can sh see the suggested sizing. Clicking on the pipes, in each section we can see what is the temperature of water in that point, the delta T, and the nominal diameter suggested. Scrolling down, we see also the distribution network and how the water reaches each floor and each indoor unit. Then we can also see 
the detail for each apartment of our water source indoor unit Alterma 3WS. Here the main hydraulic components are clearly, clearly represented with a short uh, explanation and uh, clicking on the unit itself, the mm, capacity and living water temperature at the design condition is displayed. So this full overview can be also downloaded as PDF to be shared with our customers. And as we can see, there is an extensive explanation of the water loop concept with the simplified graphical interface. The key technical specifications are displayed in the report. Let's change together the energy of our city. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Margarita, for this very insightful presentation on the future of renewable heating in apartment buildings. Please have a look at our other Daikin webinars on the agenda on the ISH platform. Goodbye.